G'day legends and welcome to my latest photography video and today I'm discussing whether adding a speed light to your water photography arsenal is a worthwhile investment for you and we'll also be looking at the newish flash, flash housing from the team at Aquatech. Personally I have used flash in the water for about seven years so that means for a good 10 to 12 years before that none of my water photography included any sort of flash. So you can get away without owning a flash and many water photographs do. However, since owning a flash, it has opened up a range of shooting options that has allowed me to photograph at certain times of the day and get better results. And I'm not talking necessarily about low light either, but I'll get to that later in this video. What I am mainly going to be talking about today is surface style water photography, meaning images taken at water level to not much more than five meters down. If you are a deep uh, scuba diver photographer, then using flash in strobes is pretty much essential and the gear for that type of photography is much different to the stuff that I'm using. So while I do have a flash housing and a bag full of speed lights, I don't use them in the water all the time. It really depends on the look that you are trying to achieve. And I have also found it to be an amazing tool at solving exposure problems. With my commercial photography, I tend to use flash a lot more than when I'm doing my personal or editorial photo shoots. One example of a time when I use flash with my commercial photography, nearly every time is when I am shooting people in the middle of the day. Yes, you heard right in the bright overhead sunshine. A lot of people associate flash with low light or nighttime photography, but for me, the most value that I get from a speed light is when I wanna fill in shadows and balance the bright sunshine with the foreground subjects or models. Here is an example of a picture taken for a resort client. Swimming pool shots look great in the middle of the day with the sunshine and the clear blue water, which is great time to get the pool looking at its best, but probably the worst time to photograph people. The overhead sun creates nasty shadows on the face and gives a gray look to their skin compared to the vibrant background. So by filling in these shadows with some flash, then balances the light better between the background and the foreground. Gives sparkle to their faces, brings in a more flattering skin tone and adds more, a more professional touch to the image taken without flash. I'm sure this side-by-side -side example shows you what I mean. So with the same exposure, the same angle, the same time of the day, the same model, you can get a vastly different result with the use of flash. Back in 2014, when I started using flash and this split level te technique, I landed so many jobs shooting resorts and pools, it was just ridiculous. Having the water housing set up allows you to get such a different look to most other photographers, but adding flash to this sets you apart even further. So this simple introduction of flash and the knowledge of being able to use it properly has added tens of thousands of extra income to my business and it did it almost immediately. I've also used flash for a lot of underwater wildlife work. This is not something that I shoot a whole lot of, but when we do get a chance to hang out on an epic snorkeling uh, location, I get super pumped to hang out with turtles and dolphins and rays and the use of flash can at times help with a little bit more defined image. Once again, it's not always necessary, but it's great to give it a variation between no flash and then flash. Surf photography is something that I haven't really dived deep into yet with flash. I tend to pick my times of day where the light is favorable, so using flash isn't as necessary, but to get a different look to the rest of the pack, it's definitely something uh, worth considering. I have plans to shoot uh, with flash more in the surf environment and come up with ways of getting some different looking pictures. So hopefully I can document some of that process and either share it on here on YouTube or add to more, more content to my courses. There are so many cool opportunities and avenues to go down with this. It really is endless and the different ways that you can create with your water photography and the use of flash is just endless. So. That's just a really quick interlude into using flash in the water. The other reason for this video was to show you the products that I use for making flash in the water happen. So just like a camera, these speed lights that are not, <laughs> are not waterproof, so you will need to get protection. I've been using this flash housing from Aquatech where I use my 600 uh, Canon EX600 flash inside the housing. 
and it's still going strong after seven years and it's been a vital tool in my professional photography on almost a weekly basis. However, Aquatec not long ago upgraded their flash housing to this black stealthier looking unit. It's called the Lux housing and apart from the color, the main difference is these quick release clips instead of the screwing in this setup. And it does have a slightly better um, button functions and it's just a bit easier to use. But really it's just a tweaked version of what was working well to start with. The biggest difference with this new housing is instead of making the flash housings for all different brands like Canon, Nikon, Sony, um, to suit their individual flash guns, they now have act actually sell you the flash with the housing. They have teamed up with Godox, which is a brand of flash that makes their model compatible with all of the major brand camera brands. So now instead of buying a flash housing to suit your flash, you now just buy the flash housing and nominate which camera brand you are using and you will be sent the appropriate speed light. I have just started using the Godox uh, Aquatec combo and so far it's been really good. The flash setup is almost identical to my Canon 600EX flash so there was zero learning curve in getting used to the new Godax version. Uh, it seems powerful enough with a decent recycle time and has all the good stuff like high speed flash sync, rear curtain sync options, it has full manual control as well as full ETTL auto mode as well. So while I haven't used it extensively yet, it does seem to tick all the boxes. Just a side note, apparently the ETTL uh, only works with Canon and Nikon cameras and not Sony. However, Sony users will be able to still operate in manual mode and use high speed flash sync. I'll be experimenting with remote flash and multiple flash setups soon. So I'll have to get in and do some more uh, follow-up videos on that another time. Um, but as for the housing itself, it seems to be rock solid in my test so far. Aquatec quality is carried through in from their camera housings to this flash housing and will no doubt stand up to the harsh environments that they will venture out into. The strong point with Aquatec is that you can add this flash and remove it very easily. It just bolts on top of the housing and connects to your camera via this cord. Some uh, housing brands have to make the complete housing that fits around the flash and the camera. So you basically need a separate housing for when you are using flash and another housing for when you are shooting with just the camera. So this way is better in my opinion. Since working with a number of students through my courses, I have found that some housing brands don't even allow flash at all. So this can be very limiting. If you do decide to go down the flash housing route, I would suggest getting one of these off camera extension leads. The uh, flash on top of the camera is definitely practical, but if you can have an assistant or yourself hold the flash off to one side or underwater to light up uh, beneath the surface in a split level shot, then you can further increase the versatility and effectiveness of this tool. In this video, I've barely scratched the surface on what you can actually do with a flash and the benefits of using one in the water, but I hope it has given you an introduction to, um, to those that are curious and maybe reignited some interest in using a tool that may give you a different look in the ocean as well. If you do want to invest in an Aquatec flash housing or any Aquatec gear for that matter, then you can get a 10% off by using the unique code word AF Tom Woods. AUS at the checkout. It's an ongoing offer that they have extended to my course members and YouTube and Instagram subscribers. Depending on when you are actually watching this uh, video, I either already have a full course on, uh, dedicated to using Flash or it will be releasing soon. So please contact me or check the links below for more information if you think using a Flash could light up your photography world that little bit more. Thanks for tuning in today and please leave any questions or comments below. Always love to chat about anything related to photography.